Hi, my name is Anoka. So I'm a lawyer turned environmentalist and basically in short, I've been an animal rescuer who's become more into environment over the years. Um, quite a few things. I used to rescue animals off the street, especially dogs. And from there on, I worked on my passion, which is animal uh, rescues. And then I worked with the Hevala Zoo. I volunteered with quite a few organizations. And after the tsunami, um, I became more interested in social enterprise and environmental conservation. For so many, um, the most important one I would say is the lack of interest in changing legislation in Sri Lanka. Um, policy makers and uh, the government especially needs to work more on these areas to make sure that they preserve the environment for the future generations. Um, and also just lack of apathy. Um, a lot of people find, you know, maybe fast fashion cooler than environment, but it's about making sure that a message goes out there in a more engaging and interesting way. Oh, I'm completely against it. Um, I really can't be behind that. Uh, because there are better ways of ensuring that you can have um, agriculture and um, economic development. Um, so for example, if you look at new technologies like hydroponics um, and aquaponics, there are some really amazing companies doing some great work here as well. You can make sure that you have agricultural inputs um, and people don't starve, but you can also conserve the land because and it uses a lot less water. So it's about adopting new technologies, going forward with technology to make sure that you can feed the people and also still have that economic return. Um, so to do that, we need to have a bit of an overview of how our economy and also how our environment works. So for example, what's the biggest uh, draw of income to the country right now? It's tourism, you know, it's not tea because we have too many competitors out there. And tourists come here to look at wildlife and our forests. So if we cut it down, if we destroy it and our elephants are getting run over, I heard about an, a pregnant elephant being run over recently near Vilpatu as well. If we are doing that, then we don't have a lot of income coming in. So it's about making sure we put little things in place. Uh, for example, like a flyover to make sure that the animals can cross um, from under that flyover. So, you know, it's, it's little things. It's about being just more, a bit more thoughtful about the whole process. Um, just personally, uh, try to eat less meat um, because meat has a massive footprint uh, on our planet in terms of methane and carbon dioxide. Um, but also use less plastic. It's, it's really, really so important that we don't use so much plastic because it ends up in our water and our food system. Um, I used to work in the apparel industry before as well, and there are even microfibers that get into your food. So, uh, because these are synthetic fibers that are made out of plastic materials. So we need to really, really consume less and be more mindful of what we use. Um, it's, it's about just standing up, taking responsibility because you need to do what you're paid for. Uh, our taxes are being, you know, utilized to pay for your expenses monthly, yearly, and it's high time that you started being more responsible and do what the people want. For example, enact the animal welfare bill.